Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I know you guys haven't seen a video from me in quite a while, maybe a month or so. I don't even know. I can't keep track. Um, but I'm going to upload this one first because I have actually made videos of everything that I've bought over the month of July. I just have not had time to upload anything. So I'm going to upload this one first and then after this one you should get like a barrage hopefully of videos for me uh, showing everything that was bought in July. Um, again, <laughs> it's just been crazy. I've been driving around doing, you know, my picking at yard sales and estate sales and all that, but on top of that, I just feel like I've lived in the car for the past month because the kids are home. I've been going back and forth to wreck with my daughter and field trips and chaperoning and taking her back and forth to friends' houses and bringing friends over here for playdates and taking my son back and forth to work and to his girlfriends and friends' houses and picking him up from places. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and my son, who is going to be 18 in December, really needs to get a license because this is getting really old. <sighs> so anyway, um, let's see. Oh, quick update on those uh, Grateful Dead prints that I showed you guys what, over a month ago now? Um, I still have not gotten them appraised. They only do appraisals on Mondays, and it there's a conflict between picking my daughter up at REC and um, going to get them appraised. So REC is over um, this week. So hopefully I'll be able to leave her with my son one of these Mondays, and I can go and get them appraised. But the sleazy car salesman guy who works with my husband begged him and begged him to bring him in. He brought them in without the certificates of authenticity because uh, I made him leave them here. And the guy's initial offer to him right off the bat was 500 bucks. Um, and we don't think he's keeping them for himself. So we, uh, for himself, we think he's gonna, you know, resell them. So I was happy about that. So we'll see what happens when I finally uh, get to take them to be appraised. So I'll keep you guys updated. I apologize. I know everybody's been leaving comments. I haven't answered anybody. I, I don't think this whole month have just been so crazy. So I'm going to jump in now and show you guys what I bought this past weekend. There's not a lot. So uh, it's just been too hot this month. People are away and there aren't really a lot of sales. But Friday I went out and... I found this set of Disney car sheets. It's a twin set, no pillowcase for $4. Should be able to get, I don't know, 15 to 20 on those. I don't even know why I bought them. I think I bought them just because there wasn't much to buy and I felt like I needed to get something so that the day was in complete waste. Um, then the only other thing I found on Friday were a couple plush toys. I got this Christmas Kermit the Frog. I think he's from 1993. I have to look it up. I've sold one of these guys before. Um, brand new with the tag. I think I paid like three bucks for him. And also paid three bucks for Goofy in his Santa outfit. Also um, from Macy's back in the day. Has the tags on it, but I don't I think it has the year. Oh, I guess 92, 92 or 93. So that's everything I got Friday. And then Saturday I hit my first sale. Thankfully they were all right next to each other. I was home by 10, 15 and my daughter looked at me like I was a crazy person. I walked in the door, she goes, you're home? <laughs> I said, yes, I am. Um, and then the first sale, the first thing I saw <clears throat> on the first table I hit there was this. This is that insane workout system from Tony Horton and Beachbody um, P90X. All the literature is here and all the CDs are here and they haven't even been touched. They're all still in their plastic packaging 
and they wanted 15 for it which I happily paid because when I resell this I think I can make um, at least 65 probably 65 to 75 on this system so I showed it to my husband my husband's like oh you should keep that for a while I said why should I keep it he goes, you know, so we can watch it. I go, why, are you planning on doing it? He goes, no, I don't want to do that crazy workout. He goes, but I, I just want to watch how nuts it is. <laughs> like, oh, okay. That's how pathetic we are. We don't actually want to do the workout video. Just watch it and see how much pain other people are in. Um, let's see. All right, the other places I went that day, which were very close by, uh, I got these things this all these things were at one house they were in a box marked um, 50 cents each so I got this Mario for 50 cents with the tags on him I should be able to make at least 10 on him I got this Schroeder figurine from Peanuts he's the one that plays the piano and Lucy's always after him uh, I don't think it has a date on it no this will probably get maybe 10 out of. And then this was the best out of the bunch. This is a Schroeder plush doll. Still has the tags on him. Don't know if he has a price tag. Oh yeah, $12.99. Whenever he was sold. But two have sold recently on eBay. One for $30 and one for $35. So that was a really good purchase. And very easy to ship. I like those. Uh, went to another sale and got a few things for my kids, DVDs and stuff like that. But the thing I found there to sell was this. This is a Royal Worcester Sugar Bowl. This is the pattern down here, Lavinia. And as soon as I saw this, I didn't even look it up. Um, because she had a price tag of a dollar on it, so I just snatched it because it was Royal Worcester with no chips or cracks or anything like that. Brought it home, checked replacements.com, and if you want to buy one of these on there, they would like you to pay $189, which is ridiculous. It's a sugar bowl. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm hoping to get to get at least... 50 maybe a little more out of it we'll see but this is one of those things you know one of those wait and see things where you have to just put a price on it and leave it in the store and let it sit until the right person comes along All right, and then the last sale I went to that day I bought some Mexican pottery and I've bought some of this before and I've always had pretty good luck with it this might look familiar to a lot of you it's um, always done this kind of um, like salt glaze looking finish with birds and flowers and right here it says Mexico the KE is for Ken Edwards who was a um, very famous artist as far as Mexican pottery goes and <clears throat> most of these pieces are made in I think it's Tanala Mexico. So I got two of these vases. I think those were three dollars a piece. I'm probably going to sell those together. And then the piece I was more excited about was this big serving bowl with the lid because you don't find these too much. It has one little chip right here. But other than that it's in really good condition. It's got these blue and yellow birds. Unfortunately it's not marked Ken Edwards, but that's okay. I'm hoping, I paid five, I'm hoping to get maybe 50 out of it. And down here it's marked CAT, which is, are the initials of the artist, Tonala, Mexico. And then I think that says 350. So that was all I bought. But I have to tell you the, the story about when I bought these pieces. I walked. Uh, walked over to the tables and I was looking and I, you know, I was minding my own business and the two women that were running the sale were talking back and forth and they were both in a really good mood but the one just seemed to be in a much better mood than the other woman and I'm really not listening to what they're talking about 
And all of a sudden I looked up at the woman who was a little bit, you know, happier than the other one. And I guess she thought that I was listening in on their conversation or something. And I looked up at her and all of a sudden, like out of nowhere, she just blurted out. She goes, I want a trip to Australia yesterday. I just looked at her. I go, get the hell out of here. She goes, I did. I said, how did you want a trip to Australia? She won it on the Ellen show. She uh, entered online and Friday afternoon they called her on the phone and they told her she won an all expense paid 12 day trip to Australia. She has to take it between now and June of 2014. So I just thought that was so awesome. So I was like congratulating her and then she said her best friend was actually coming to the sale a little bit later and her best friend's birthday was coming up and she said, I didn't know what to get her. She goes, but now I do. She goes, I'm taking her with me. That's her present. I'm like, oh man, can't I be her best friend? <laughs> I want to go to Australia. So the point of the story is guys, people actually do win those things. So, you know, enter them. And the other funny thing was, is that I never watch talk shows during the day. But my husband just happened to be flipping channels and Ellen was on and so he left it on for a few minutes and right after he turned it on, that woman's name like, and the town she was from, which you know, our town, flashed up on the screen and it said she was one of the winners for the trip. So as soon as I saw that, I pointed at her. I'm like, I met her. I know her. My husband's like, I know. You told this story four times about how the lady won the trip to Australia. So anyway, that is it for me. This weekend is um, a town-wide sale, the next town over. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that's good. And like I said, I'm hoping to get those other videos uploaded for you guys shortly. So please be patient with me. This next month should calm down a little bit. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Happy picking.